Today we find out what happens when you put someone who's known for making mistakes in charge of building bridges. It's Polybridge 3. I played a little bit of Polybridge 2 and I can't say that I was exactly an engineer, but uh, you know, I sort of got by. I had a lot of fun building it. This game actually comes out on May 30th and the developers were kind enough to provide a copy of the game in advance so I could check it out. But uh, the general premise, if you haven't seen it before, is we gotta get, get this dude from point A over to the flag, uh, which is also point A. Whatever. It, it, sometimes there's more than one vehicle, so they're individually labeled. So we built a simple bridge for this guy to cross the chasm, and we gotta test that out and see how that simulates. Perfect! We made it! I love that you can spin this camera around and see whatever angle you want. Now, this is just the tutorial. Things are gonna get much harder. Okay, so, second bridge. We have, uh, we gotta cross two gaps this time. We have a budget of 13,500. We got the little dude on the scooter again. That looks a little uncomfortable. His knees are, like, super high. Not surprisingly, this bridge is gonna be the same as the first one. Uh, I think it's actually just a slightly farther distance. We got, like, a tiny little bit more distance to go. And then we're gonna build this with wood as well. Same structure as we did before. Good to go. Move it, little buddy. Ta-da! Super hard. Leaderboards, you. I'm at the bottom 48% of the leaderboard, so some people were actually focusing on saving costs already. Uh, obviously, I could do this better if we simplified our design a little bit. So we can actually move stuff that's on here, and that will save us some additional money. Can we go crazy with this? Can I just make a weird swing bridge? Will it just collapse under its own weight? It sure does. Ah! Alright, so let's do... Uh, we're gonna do a smaller set of triangles here. Trying to save a little bit of weight there. All right, smaller supports, cheaper costs. That got me in at uh, 95.64, which moves me to the top 24%. All right, $13,000 budget. Build a slightly larger bridge. Tip, turn on auto triangulate to help build faster. I mean, that does sound kind of handy. Uh, so we're again gonna go straight right across. Straight right across, no big deal there, and then we gotta get these little supports. Alright, we're gonna try to save some costs. I'm gonna move some of the points down just a little bit. See if that will give us the structural support that we need. I'm trying to get this as low as I can. Okay, what's that got us cost-wise? 78, 29. That, eh, that might be decent enough. Hopefully that will hold. Perfect engineering. That's why I'm not an engineer. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and we'll try to make this a little bit more rounded. That might give us the better support we need. 82.28. Oh, it looks a little weak. Ow! All right, never mind. There we go. That's a little better. We got top 21%, uh, putting me in 12th here with 85.47. Obviously, this will change. Wow, some people got all the way down to like 3,600 to $4,200. On the rocks, budget 17,000. We gotta use additional anchors, red squares to help support your bridge. Uh, so we got a middle anchor here in the center. We'll just try to like, we'll just try to go like a straight road across and that, that made a really weird road placement. What did I do there? All right, straight across the middle and then we're gonna go with like uh, above and below sort of thing here, I guess. I don't know what's, I, I'm not, I am not an engineer. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, we can try copying this though, let's see what happens. I think we can copy and flip it. Flip it. Stick it. Boom. Look at that. That's 100% going to fall down. Oh, it stayed up. Oh, we almost made it across. It was close. It was close. Where did it break? Oh, the roadway. Uh, okay, so we need maybe just a little bit more support here. So this little center pole here is probably not doing a lot. Maybe we can, um, I don't know, brace it this way. Hey, we did it. Look at that. I'm learning. Hey, we did it. $10,644 bump. 99.46% stress. We got a half a percent to work with here, people. We can manage it. Uh, we could probably get it a little bit cheaper. I think some of these ones that are like super cheap in this leaderboard are maybe from the developers and maybe they're not real attempts. Let's have a thousand off real civil engineer this time. Industrial metal. We got 36,000 for this one. We finally get to start working with steel. Stronger than wood, but weighs more and is more expensive. Well, I guess that makes sense. Gotta get this fancy school bus across. Uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be the same kind of thing as that early bridge where we're just gonna do a simple... Why is it doing an... Oh. Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Can I just go like this or something? That doesn't really fit all the way across. Why doesn't that quite fit? That's a super weird shape. I don't imagine uh, this is gonna hold. <laughs> nope, definitely not. See ya. 
Okay, so clearly that's not the way to go. I think that'll hold. Might be too strong. Oh, never mind. So we need to make this more arch-like, so... Because arches are good in, like, the engineering things, I guess. There we go! Ooh, I think I got all the way up to, like, 97 or 98%. 99.71% max stress. Look at that. Bam! Oh, 16. All right, well, we got to cross that time. That puts me top 26%. Mixed materials. This time we're using wood and metal to build our bridge to get across here. Bring on the way ambulance. Okay, um, let's use metal supports here in the... Look at that, I can do like a single post here, supporting the whole center of this thing. And then what if I do like two little arch bridges on either side? Will this work? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. Uh, I want to copy this one. There we go. That looks pretty silly. I, I, I might hold. Ooh, look at that flex. <laughs> uh, the center sort of bends a little bit too much there. That's not that's not quite gonna work. Yeah, that might that might be enough support. I don't know. We'll see. It's still gonna it's gonna move a lot of these points here because there's no support there. But I don't know. Okay, well, we got across. Uh, this was not the most economical version of this, I don't think. Max stress, 90%. That put me... Ooh, bottom 40%. Yeesh. Certain we can get this cheaper. Hold on, we, we can take a little bit of cost out of this. If I shift this down... Get a little extra wooden structure in there, maybe. Then we can move some of these down to save costs, possibly. That's not really shaving all that much off, though. I right, got us through. 16, 8, 64, so we did save a little bit there. Max stress, 96.75. We can push that. Oh, bottom 49%. Yep. Not all that much better. Oh, I see Dre's playing, too. All right, I think that's about the cheapest I'm going to manage to get this thing. I got it down. So we got 96.91% max stress. That got me top 36%, which, you know, 16th isn't fantastic. But we made it. Level six, two bridges. We got $50,000 budget for this one. Again, mixed materials. We got this little snowman and a jalopy we got to get across this time. Uh, oh. All right, we got a few, more, a few different connection points here. Um, we could probably go with a bridge that goes straight towards this thing. They gave us under anchors on this side. I wonder if I can do like a little truss set up under here that's all made out of wood. And then on this side, uh, we'll try... Oh, I'll turn the triangles off. This side we'll try... Oh, metal can't reach that far, but we can get... Get these two anchor points. I'm not going to worry about cost just yet. Instead, we'll work on just trying to get a bridge that's not going to fall down. Well, it didn't fall down right away, so that's something. Level failure. Okay, so be a little little support strut over here broke. It, this one needs a little little more cross support across here, I think. Um, it's not close enough that I could reach with one piece. That might be overbuilding right there. All right, well we got a cross. It's probably not the cheapest. Seventy eight percent max stress. So I'm thinking we could probably get much cheaper. Top twenty three percent though. Pretty good, given considering they gave us fifty thousand bucks to work with. All right, deleted one strut. That should save us some cost. All right, deleted one strut over here. That should save us some cost. And then the, uh, I made this a little bit smaller on the right-hand side. I don't know. We'll see We'll see how this plays out. Oh, it's still pretty strong. I don't think we really came all that close to breaking. 98, well, okay, 98.74%. I guess that's fairly close. Got it down to 21,000, though. All right, $21,006. I've played around this for a while. That seems about the cheapest I can get this. Clearly, I need to work on my engineering chops. But this is the first one we have to get two vehicles across. So we got car A and car C. I have to get over to the flags on the other side. And this time, there's a plane that's got to go into the bridge. So we got to make sure that the plane doesn't hit too. Or does it go over? How does this plane go through here? Sploosh. Level failure! Okay, well, I can't even see how the car goes, or the plane goes through, I guess. Uh, I gather wherever this uh, red stuff is is where we don't want to build, so we're going to have to have our roadway go down underneath this thing. 
in order to get our cars here. All right, so something like this, I guess, and then we'll try to do supports over here. A couple simple metal ones in the middle. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll give it a try, see what happens. Well, that was easy enough. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Faster cars do more damage. I'd like, you know, I think that thing, the cop car like ramped off and the, it hit the roadway. So I might need to try to like build a little more slope in the road or something. Um, I could try to increase the structural support over here first. Well, the truck is easy enough. Cop car too. All right, nice. 99.44% max stress, uh, top 26% again. I keep landing in that same similar range here. We could probably shave a tiny little bit off of this, but I've already got some pretty high max stress. Oh, we got through, but the bridge broke. I don't know if it actually makes a difference or not. Oh yeah, max stress 100%. Earned by completing level under budget and unbreaking. So we got under budget and everything, but we didn't get it unbreaking. All right, well, I think I lowered the cost a little bit. 99.91% max stress. You can't really cut it much closer than that. Top 12% this time. I think that's about the best I'm gonna manage on here. This one should be trickier. We have to go over a ship with a truck, so we're gonna have a much stronger roadway here this time. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna want some sort of an arched structure to go over this thing. This will be interesting. So, we got one metal support on either side, kind of holding that up. And then I'm gonna try and do like an over, over structure here and see if this works. So we can't go below, otherwise the boat will hit it. And you know, that would be problematic. I don't know, it's simple, maybe it'll work. It's a fast moving boat. A little steamship. All right, easy peasy. We got over easy that time. Well under budget, but we have plenty of room to play with the stresses, uh, and we're only top 44%. Same basic shape, but I cut the cost down to 10,302. That increased our stress, top 36%. All right, I've been playing around with this one for a while. I think this is about the best I'm gonna get. 9,073 bucks, pretty minimal design. I'm sure we could shave additional cost off here somewhere because there's people who still did better than this, but. Sub 10,000 is pretty good. We got to 93.71% stress, and that gets me a top 10 placement for now. I mean, the game isn't launched yet. This actually comes out on May 30th. So, you know, that leaderboard's gonna get bigger. Rockstar, same materials. We got this little, uh, this little Volkswagen bus over here with a surfboard on top. Cars must collect their checkpoints before collecting the flag. So this time we have a checkpoint we have to get to. So we gotta build our roadway down here in a way that we're gonna be able to get this star. So we have to, Go just underneath it so the our little van will kind of travel right through that sucker. A little support going on here. I, don't, I can't reach that far over with that one. Uh, I'm going to try this first with wood, although we're probably going to need metal in order to get through this one. But we'll see if that holds. 10,607. Yeah. Well, we got the star. <laughs> we can't even fall properly into the water. I could throw a metal beam in there, which would give us probably enough support. Uh, but that's going to add quite a bit of cost. Man, I got a support. Nope. <laughs> Let's say we got a cross, but uh, no, we didn't. All right, a little tweaking. I think we got a functional design. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually save enough money on this one. We got our van across. I can jump over the little pirate or the Viking ship over there. Uh, I guess we top 38%. That's not very good. 17. Uh, no, we can we can save cost here and do better, I think. All right, I got the cost down to ten thousand four hundred and twenty-eight dollars. That's enough to get across. Change the structure around a little bit. That gets us into thirteenth place on this one. So not fantastic, but could be worse. We'll come back and check out some more challenges here in Poly Bridge Three. Again, this comes out on May thirtieth. If you want to pick it up for yourself, I have a link in the description to where you can grab it. Thanks again to the developer of the game for providing a copy so that we can check this out a little bit ahead of time. Let me know what you think about Polybridge 3.